like this one we can add a little bit of distortion maybe we can add a little bit of bit pressure Let's try a little bit of sign. Hey there YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to this week's new video. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're gonna check out this new plugin called Punchbox, which is a bass drum synthesizer. So I got to know about this plugin on Splice. I was just on the Splice page and I found about this plugin. I, I saw this plugin for the first time, so I thought I should give it a look. And when I saw the videos of this plugin, I was just blown away by the sound it generated. And it's basically focused for the kick drum or the bass drum sound. It is also called a bass drum synthesizer, as you can see over here. And it is such a phenomenal plugin. It has got some amazing bass drum sounds, and there are a lot of sounds loaded in this plugin. As you can see over here, there are a lot of presets which we'll get into in a moment. I just wanted to let you know that this is such an amazing plugin. If you are making beats and if you are looking for the right kick sounds, which I often struggle with, and it often happens a lot that when you are producing music, you have to find the right sample for your kick drum and for that you have to go into your library and search all the samples one by one and for me personally it just kills my creative process but with this plugin the punch box you just get everything in front of you so it is highly focused on the bass drum or kick drum so without wasting any time let's check out the punch box plugin and we'll first start with the ui and then we'll dive into the sounds so when you open the Punchbox plugin, it looks something like this. And it is created by D16 Group, Sounds of Revolution. And there are a lot of knobs over here and a lot of, lot of bells and whistles going over here. And if you think that it's very daunting, don't worry. If you understand it once, you'll get to know it very easily in a few moments. This whole plugin, the Punchbox plugin, is divided into different parts. Once you understand all these parts, you'll be able to navigate through the whole plugin easily. So let's check out each part. So as you can see over here, these are all different modules. It just looks like a 500 series module. There's a limiter, equalizer, filter, distortion, bit crusher. So till here, from here to here, it is all the processing module. And from here, these all modules generate kick sounds. We'll get into that in a moment. And over here, you can see this is the browser menu. So from here, you can choose different presets. There are tons of presets over here, as you can see. And here you can filter the presets according to your type. There are modes, so 606, 808, 909. And over here, there are genre-based filters, so dubstep, EDM, hard dance, hip hop, house, minimal techno. It's endless. You, you'll get amazing samples over here, amazing sounds which you can generate from this plugin. And over here, from these two switches, you can navigate through different presets and then you can browse. This is the browse button over here. And one of the most important and the most amazing feature of this plugin is this randomize feature. And if you randomize, if you click randomize, it will randomize all the settings of this plugin and you can generate some amazing and new sounds from scratch. So we'll get into that in a moment. And there's one more feature over here, which is export. So if you have created any kick drum sound using the punch box, you can click export over here and then you can save it as a WAV file, which is pretty awesome. And you can select the sample rate and bit depth over here, which is a pretty neat feature, which I really love. Over here, there's a feature called mix down after. So you can choose from what effect you want your mix to be finalized. So if your signal is going till bit crusher and you want your signal to go from bit crusher to the final sound, you can select the mix down after FX1. Similarly, if you want after the distortion, you can choose the FX2 and so on. So that's the basic overview of this plugin, which is pretty simple. It looks daunting, but it's not. Once you get the gist of it, it's really easy. 
So let's check out the sounds from the library and after that we'll get into playing with each of these modules one by one. So let's hear the sounds. So I've created this basic loop over here so that we can check out the Punchbox plugin in the context of a real music production scenario. So while this loop is playing, I'll go through different presets from this Punchbox plugin so that you can get to know what all presets are provided with this Punchbox plugin. So let's try it out. Let's try some dubstep sounds. Some hip hop and trap sounds. Let's try some analog modular sounds. I really like this one. We can add a little bit of distortion. Maybe we can add a little bit of bit crusher. Let's try a little bit of sign. It's a really good sub heavy sound. Just want the sub, we can remove these, turn off the distortion and filter. So as you can see all these sounds are sounding pretty much complete on its own and it's really beautiful sounding plugin which generates some amazing bass drum sounds. So there are a lot of presets over here if I go through each of them. It'll take hours to make this video. So now we're gonna check out these modules over here. So let's dive into it. So this kick module over here is the main core of this plugin. So you can choose different kind of mode which you want and it, it will generate that sound. So for example, now it is set to 909 and it's generating the 909 sound. You can change the modes. So if you want 808, you can select 808. And you can accordingly set your settings for the kick. If you want 606, you can add 606. And in each mode, you can tweak your settings according to your preferences. And then finally, there's this sign generator. which is really beautiful. And apart from these, you can add different presets from the menu over here. So there are different presets according to the different modes. So the possibilities are endless for creating some amazing unique kick drum sounds. So that's the kick module. Now these modules over here add extra characteristics to the main core sound. So for example, click, as the name suggests, it generates a click sound. So it's generating a clicky kind of sound. You can go through the presets over here. 
And if you combine it with the main kick module, it sounds really amazing. So as you can see, it's giving a good clicky kind of feel to this kick drum sound. And you can adjust according to your preferences. So this is a stereo spread. And then this is the panning. Then low cut and high cut, decay and tune. Same with the tops. Let me play it all by itself. This is also creating a good characteristics kind of sound which combined together with this and all these. So you can create some amazing unique sounds and with Tool it's a similar thing. So as you can see from click to kick all these generate different kinds of sound. This is the main part and these are the secondary things which you can add on top of this kick module which will create some amazing unique kind of sounds. So that's some amazing thing which I really like. And on top of that if you want to process it you can add a bit crusher. And this also has different presets over here if you go and browse you have different kind of bit crusher presets. You can set the FX amount. This is the quantize or sampling sample frequency range. You can add filter. You can add distortion. And there are different presets for distortion as well. And then you can add equalizer. some amazing things you can do and you can create some really beautiful and unique sound which are really unique to your music and you can generate your own kind of sounds. This plugin is also very good for sound design so if you are a sound designer you create sounds for films or games or anything you can create some amazing sounds with this bass drum synthesizer which is the punch box. So that's the basic overview of this plugin. Now let's try out the randomize feature, which is really amazing. So once you press the randomize button, these parts turn orange. And what that means is that when you press randomize, all of these parts, which you see over here, which is, this is the preset and these are the settings, panning and few of the settings over here, they will all randomize. So you'll not be stuck with the preset sounds. You can create your own sounds. So let's try it out. Now I'm gonna press randomize. Again. So really amazing bass drum sounds you can generate from this plugin. And it has really eased down my process of searching for the right kick drum sounds using the Punchbox plugin. And this plugin has really made it easy for me to search the right and the suitable kick drum sound or the bass drum sound for my music production purpose. You can get this plugin on Splice. You can get it on rent to own basis. It's just $5 per month. And for 15 months, you have to pay $5. And after that, you can own this plugin. So it's really good. And... I really love it. I've, I'm using this on a rent to own basis and I'm really looking forward to using it in my production. And that's all for today's video guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and I really hope that you loved Punchbox plugin. If you liked watching this video, don't forget to press the like button. And if you want to see more future updates and more future content just like this, don't forget to press the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that whenever I upload a new video, you get notified each time. I'll see you around in the next video.